we are arresting more people than we've ever arrested before. We are definitely holding people accountable for these crimes. Today, Columbus police provided more details about Saturday's early morning shooting in the short north. Shortly after the gunfire around 2.30 that morning, officers confirmed multiple people were injured. But it wasn't until this afternoon that we learned 10 people were hurt during two simultaneous shootings in that area, including one person who was hit by a police officer. NBC4 Sierra Johnson was at that news conference today. She's joining us now to tell us what she learned and what police are saying about why it seemed to take so long to get this information to us. Yeah, in short, Chief Elaine Bryant said it's because they wanted to make sure all of the information they were relaying was in fact accurate. So that's a bit of the delay there. And in an adjoint address with the city of Columbus leaders and Columbus police, Chief Bryant laid out the details of a violent weekend in the city of Columbus. A citywide 10-3 alert was issued, meaning every available car in the city was routed to the short north. <laughs> Officers with Columbus Police shared nearly 10 minutes worth of body camera video. That video retrieved from the cameras of two officers who were patrolling on foot as the city conducted food truck inspections. The first video starts with two officers breaking up several fights. This around 2.37 in the morning. And after dispersing the crowd with mace, a series of shots could be heard around 2.41. You then see officers running with their guns, ultimately handcuffing and removing a gun from one man who was laying bloodied on the ground. In another video, an officer is seen treating another woman just feet away. Is it taking a toll on our officers for an incident like this? This is not the norm. This is an anomaly for a situation like this to happen. According to Police Chief Elaine Bryant, there were a total of 10 victims ages 18 to late 20s, and 11 guns were recovered from the scene. Chief Bryant was asked why the information took so long to be released to the public. She emphasized the investigation is being led by the state, and it's complex given the number of scenes and victims. At this time, we cannot definitively tell you um, how many people may have been injured or, or shot by officers. We do know at least one, but we can't tell you definitively. Um, there were so many gun uh, shots that were occurring and it was so m multiple crossfire. The chief and mayor Andrew Ginther say summer initiatives are coming up. That would increase patrols in the short north and around the city. But the solution to gun violence is multifaceted and one that involves lawmakers, faith leaders, business owners and law enforcement. According to CPD, there have been efforts made to get those guns off the street. Chief Bryant says CPD has already taken 1,100 guns off the street to this day. Colleen. All right, thank you so much, Sierra. And two other shootings happened Saturday night as police investigated that short north shooting. A woman and the suspected shooter are dead in one. Four other people were injured. It happened in the early morning hours in South Linden just before 4 a.m. on St. Clair Avenue. Chief Bryant says the female victim who died was the girlfriend of the male suspect who also died, but from self-inflicted gunshot wounds. Two others were treated and released, and one remains in the hospital. And there was yet another shooting early Saturday morning, and the suspect remains locked up tonight. 34-year-old Isaac Clark now facing a murder charge, accused of gunning down a 36-year-old man on East Whittier Street on the south side. Clark has a preliminary hearing set for May 22nd. Police say an argument ended in gunfire. Well, faith leaders are weighing in on this weekend's violence. They call what is going on disheartening, but at they remain hopeful. City of Grace Church has been involved in some of the efforts to make Columbus safer. Pastor Michael Young says what happened over the weekend shows there's much more work to do. There are people who are in this work on a daily basis and it can become frustrating and maybe even sometimes discouraging. But I believe that all the seeds that are being sown is going to reap a harvest that's going to be peace. Numbers from the Division of Police show there have been 60 homicides so far this year. Police Chief Elaine Bryant says 12 are domestic violence related.